Peter Chow's hot new number one single, White Man Food, is now available on iTunes. Go to bit.ly slash white man food or go to the search engine in your iTunes and search Peter Chow to buy it today. Hello, Peter Chow here. Welcome to another edition of Monday Night Raw. Last night, Monday Night Raw presented the Slammies in which was emanating from Seattle, Washington. And guess what? Your brother from another mother, the motherfucker long as Peter Chow was there live and in person. Row 5, Section 114. So if you were in Seattle last night and... Uh, yeah, and you were like, oh, who's that Chinese guy? There's no Chinese people in Seattle, Washington, only black people. Well, then that Chinese person was most likely me, Peter Chow. It was an amazing show. I mean, based on the fact that previous Slammy shows have been shit, just absolute garbage here, this one absolutely, ooh, rocket shit right to the positivity of the world. Uh, the Slammy's last night was very good. It was a brisk quick show and by quick I mean three hours four hours with the pre-show and everything and um, yeah the first match I'm gonna simulate today is Mr. Fan Dango against the hometown hero Daniel Bryan alright my friend look at Fan Dango ready to dance well guess what I'm ready to wrestle motherfucker Fandango now being an asshole and I am playing as Ebony Washington's own Daniel Bryan, here we go, alright, come on, whip me to the far side, deep arm drag, as deep as the V-neck Scotty Mac was wearing last night, and if you are Scotty Mac and you are watching this, oh, 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 oh sorry about that, uh, preemptively, I thought that I was going to be able to do a move, but instead, Fantanko was the one who gained the upper hand, in which I am very upset about, oh, here we go, look at this, showing the wrestling crowd that we can wrestle. And, uh, oh my, the, the main event segment was absolutely fantastic, wasn't it, last night? I don't know if you watched the taping, but, you know, as I said, section 114, uh, row 5, if you, if you miss me, uh, I'm there. You, you can see me, just, just, just watch the entire show, me and a lot of friends were there as well. So make sure to check it out, Fandango, what are you doing being all fancy pants on my hair? Come on now, look at this. This was actually a fantastic match, Fandango versus Daniel Bryan. The crowd was hot as fire. We were chanting yes, we were chanting yes. And, you know, my opinion is that the, fan, the fans chanting yes is an indication that we want to see DB in the fucking main event, not relegated to elevating the Wyatts. I mean, as much as I love the Wyatts, the Wyatts were super over in Seattle, Washington, but Daniel Bryan deserves to be in the main event and not in a position in which, oh, he's just going to be used as a good little hand to put on good matches. I disagree with that. Dan Bryan is over. He is capable in the ring. He can cut a hair of a promo if given the chance. DB is the future, and I mean, I always rag on the WWE for saying, oh, just relying on nostalgia for the WrestleMania. You know, bringing back names like Brock Lesnar, The Rock, Triple H, Undertaker, all those big names, maybe even potentially this year, Goldberg. Uh, but the fact is, is that they need to concentrate on building new stars. And the thing is, is that they have Daniel Bryan as a new star. He's right in front of you, and you are not capitalizing? You're not capitalizing? How could you not become a capitalizing? Okay? It makes me angry as a wrestling fan. And even though some of you who watch my gaming videos don't follow the art of professional wrestling, you should understand that I am passionate about it. You know, it's more than a motherfucking, you know, show to me. It's more than a sport to me. It's real. It's real in the sense that it's a business. Not the fact that it's, you know, choreographed and that most motherfuckers would just say, Oh, it's fake. Uh, it's fake. I don't give a shit about those people. I care about the people who understand the product. Who understand the business aspect of the product. People who compare UFC to the WWE saying that UFC is real and Daniel Bryan is not. 
Well, sorry, not Daniel Bryan, but the other professional wrestling is not just th is ignorant. They're stupid because UFC is built on the same standards as the WWE in terms of uh, I don't know a business because understand this pay-per-views work the same way you build a story and UFC builds a fight except the thing is is that They need to learn how to tell a story UFC WWE has their storylines in check they make the, you know, the characters hate each other and then you want to see them fight. It's very, very simple Sakara morality. But when you have a cold fight between two people that nobody really gives a shit about, well then, there you go, UFC. But UFC and WWE are totally different. I enjoy UFC very much so. I love just seeing two Vanilla Guerrillas go in there or, you know, in some cases the Brazil. Or something, I, I don't know. All, all facets, all races are welcome. And they're all just punching the fuck out of each other. And hugging and all that. I mean, I love that more than anybody. But wrestling is different. It's a fucking TV show. And people will say, oh, wrestling is fake. Why do you watch that? How about comparing it to any television show? It is, it's not real. Do you think Game of Thrones is real? Do you think Breaking Bad is real? It's all television. So why don't you complain that the other shit that you watch is fake and not WWE? WWE is live! You know, it's a live pro uh, uh, program, you know? So get your shit right, people. I mean, don't stop embarrassing yourself with it. ignorant comments. Uh, so, I mean, that's all I have to say, you know? Uh, but anyway, last night, hot crowd. In Seattle, we were having a great time. I hope you guys who attended it from the Vancouver area also had a very, very good time. I hope the guys in Seattle had a good time, in which I know they did. Because after Raw went off the air, it almost reminded me a little bit of, uh, uh, what, what was it called? Uh, uh, back in the Attitude Era days, when The Rock and Austin and, and the referees and the ring announcers would just fuck around. They would fuck around. Uh, and it was, oh my, oh my, in the main event we had John Cena and Randy Orton facing off in a verbal confrontation and while Randy Orton was very much affected by us chanting Daniel Bryan, tearing the world, the WWE Universe, that Daniel Bryan should be in the main event instead of Randy Orton, he lost his shit. Uh, but otherwise he cut a very good promo until John Cena absolutely blew him out of the water. Now a lot of people had different things to say about the Daniel Bryan reaction last night in Seattle. I mean, Triple H tried to insult Bryan. Uh, Randy Orton lost his cool, told the crowd, I mean, I have it on video, you should check out my vlog of the actual footage, but Randy Orton actually tells the crowd to fuck off at one point during the talk segment after Raw goes at the air. Just absolutely, he just says, fuck off and sit the fuck down. That's what he tells everybody to do. Um, it's a very great way to get heat, but uh, who knows whether he was really pissed or whether he was just having a good time and just feeling, feeling the crowd and playing along with it. I don't know. But uh, John Cena cut a hell of a promo, and I dare say that John Cena's promo was one of the very best he ever cut. Uh, since debuting almost 10, 11 years ago maybe, probably about 10 years old. Uh, but my god, you know, John Cena was able to use the crowd reaction in Seattle to put both Daniel Bryan over using the heat that, uh, you know, using Daniel Bryan's popularity to elevate himself. And it was just, I mean, when, when, I, when I witnessed the promo, I was just, that is why John Cena is the man, motherfucker. That is why that everybody should just stop hating him for just because it's popular to hate him. I mean, I'm sure that people hate him not even knowing why they should hate him. But just because everybody else is booing him in the building, oh, you're going to boo him too. I mean, love him or hate him, John Cena is the face, the real face of the company. And the fact is, is that he knows what he's doing in there. He's at the top for a reason. And, you know, I'm a bigger John Cena fan after watching Toto Divas. And especially even a bigger fan after watching the show last night. Because the promo he cut was fantastic. Not to mention during the, you know, 
The after Raw segment, he tried to do a spinner Rooney among others, Stephanie McMahon included. Uh, who else? Who else did a spinner Rooney? Titus O'Neil came out. CM Punk came out in his underwear, laughing but his trousers. And then, oh wait, sorry, no trousers. Anything, everything but his trousers. I mean, not everything because he didn't have a shirt on. So I guess it's just, yeah, just in his panties. He came out in his under panties. He hugged Stephanie McMahon. Uh, it was just everybody's just breaking kayfabe, having a good time. Uh, it was it was fucking fantastic. So I mean, the video is actually it's it's actually online. Uh, just just search. I don't know Seattle, Washington, Raw Spinner Rooney's. You'll find the video is fucking amazing. I'll upload some of the footage footage from my iPhone later on my blog channel so uh hopefully you guys enjoy it hopefully you guys enjoy this gaming video this match was fantastic i'm going to do a simulation of the ambrose cm punk perhaps the six man the boring ass sincara alberto match which unfortunately alberto suffered a concussion from so don't say that shit's not real because the motherfucker have a concussion and that's anything but fake um, but yeah, I'm going to end this match pretty soon as I'm pretty much dominating Fandango, uh, look at this, yeah, yeah Fandango, one, two, three, that's right, two, yes, thank you very much for joining me for yet another, let me start that again. Thank you very much for joining me for yet another episode of Peter Chow Games in which I simulate the very best in sports entertainment. WWE 2K14 uh, If you do want to play with me Up against me My user tag name Whatever you want to call it Gamertag PSN Is called Roderick Reigns R-O-D-E-R-I-C-K R-O-A-Y-N-E-S Search that Add me as a friend Play against me in this game I've been uploading online videos In which I will continue to do After I upload some simulations From last night's Raw and I will see you very much next time. And until next time, give this video a boom thumbs up if you like the WWE, if you support Daniel Bryan, and if you support the WWE product at the moment. I will see you next time. The shades here that I am wearing are available at ShadySluts.com and which you can purchase for your friend for Christmas using the promo code PYROBOOBS. P-Y-R-O-B-O-O-B-S. That will get you $10 off. And who doesn't want Peter Chow brand sunglasses and spend 10 extra dollars? You stupid. Save money. Get the gifts that you want. Get the gifts that your friends want. Get the gifts your family wants. And the gift that everybody wants is the brand new shades. Shadysluts.com. Promo code PYROBOOBS. P Y R O. B double O B S. I will see you next time. Ciao outside, motherfucker. Rock the shades that Peter Chow wears today by visiting ShadySluts.com. Shades are only $34, and when you use my personal promo code PyroBoobs, you will get $10 off. ShadySluts.com.